Okay, I think we are back on air. We've decided that the, um, the technical hitch may be caused by the question last time <laughs> round, so we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and, and have another question. This is very much one for Keith, I think. Um, Keith, how can it be? This is a question from Becky Dignan. Okay. Um, how can it be that if an item is illegally exported from a country, a source country, yes. it can be uh, legally claimed in the UK? Right. Well, this is. Um because basically you have um, two different legal systems in play. You have the source country's uh, ownership law and you then have um, how a market country regulates itself legally. And as I was trying to explain in my presentation, um, a market country such as the UK does not have any um, joint agreement that would make it legally liable to apply a source country's law. So the 1983 law of Egypt says everything belongs to the state, nothing must be exported. Mm -hmm. But once it's crossed that border and entered the market, usually through Switzerland um, and Israel, um, <coughs> once that action has already taken